Hey there, Chad here for the AI Content Dojo. In this video, I just want to show off how you can kind of have some quick wins, uh, content wins with Chibi AI, and sort of the whole concept of using a seed with a lead and the topic. So over to the right, the topic box, this is where you would enter kind of what it is you're writing about. And th this is something that you're writing about in the moment that you're ready to hit, you know, the right button. So keep that in mind that um, this can be changed at any point. You know, if you're further down in your in your article and your your topic could be better focused, make sure you update the topic box to help Chibi focus on your topic. Now, uh, a seed is essentially this part of what I'm writing up here. You can imagine that this article maybe is a review of a new burger that I found that was really delicious or something. And uh, the lead is the sort of sentence fragment right here that is something where I get a lot of questions about how do you write a good lead. A good lead is essentially you as the writer, you start writing a sentence and at the point where you feel like you know how you would finish the sentence anyway, that's where you could let Chibi take over. And um, you could use that as experimentation to kind of see if he... You know, he might follow what you were going to say. A lot of times he will follow what you were going to write anyways. So it speeds up your writing. But also, you know, sometimes he'll give you some different ideas uh, for what you what you might have put there. Sometimes it's really good. And sometimes, you know, you're like, okay, well, I liked my previous or I liked what I thought I was going to write better. And of course, you can replace it. But he'll also sometimes continue writing some, some extra content that um, might have been something you didn't think of. I like to say that that's serendipity. You know, you leave it to chance a little bit to, to where he comes up with some, some good material for you to use in your content. And, and even if you can't use that material right there in your writing, it might still be good and you can keep it and use it later in your in your article. Now, you can use the lead as kind of a barometer of a sense, like to give you some control, right? Like if, if your lead is short, like if you're using just like a transition or something, like in fact, comma, um, then Chibi is going to use whatever is, you know, um, what, what else is in the editor to kind of help formulate context. And then since the lead is really short, then you're kind of, you're, you're essentially saying, Hey Chibi, I'm giving you lots of Liberty to come back with content that you think is interesting for based on what's in my editor, what, what's in my document. And so if you feel like Chibi's not really coming back with content that you're, it's not on point for you or not perfectly on point, because it's probably on topic, but it's not exactly what you were thinking. Then your, your fragment, your, your sentence lead might be a little bit too short or not, not um, focused enough. And so just add more words like in the, in the sense or in the case here where the, the pickled onions really kicked up the, you know, you could easily think the next word will be flavor, you know, um, something like that. And chances are that Chibi is probably going to think that too and, and use that or a, a similar word or a similar phrase, uh, but also probably add some more content. So I'm going to go ahead and let Chibi take over. Now, again, as with all AI tools, um, <laughs> the AI can come back, you know, it has a mind of its own. So the AI could come back with something that uh, embarrasses me on camera, but here we go. Command enter. Let's see what Chibi has. See, even <laughs> there you go. So he really kicked up the flavor of the, the pickled onions really kicked up the flavor of the burger. So see it, it Chibi wrote exactly what I was going to write myself. Um, I was full and happy after eating just once. Okay. He added a little bit more. Um, actually that's probably fine. Um, notice it wasn't much content. And that's because the way that Chibi is designed, you notice that there's no small, medium, or long kind of, or short, medium, long kind of output choice for Chibi. And that's because in a lot of ways, those selectors are kind of, they're a little bit, not dangerous, but kind of, in a sense, they kind of give you a false belief that you're able to control the output. For instance, if you were in this part right here, Chibi just wrote, you know, what, 10 words or something. If you had a selector and you picked long and forced Chibi to write more, basically after this part right here, right? The part that he just wrote, he is then going to start, he would have started 
coming up with different things to write about. You know, probably related in some manner at least, but he would have had to, you know, since he was being forced to write more, he would have had to come up with some some extra. And a lot of times that extra is not even what you want. So why waste uh, why waste the time on um, forcing that up and then wasting tokens and words? You know, like that doesn't really matter in, in Chibi, but other tools where you have word limits, you know, you don't want to burn through those word limits with experimentation and stuff, right? So um, in the case of Chibi, I designed it specifically so that he would stop writing if it, if he felt like he was going to be changing the topic too much. Um, of course, I can't stop him every time. Sometimes he might, but uh, I've tried my best. Um, so yeah, and, and see how my, my lead, let me undo this, my lead stopped basically through most of it. But if you start pulling back a little bit, you might give Chibi the chance to write a little bit more. Complimented the bacon cheese. All right, that was good too. Let's go ahead and go back. Yeah, see, he just kind of starts writing a little bit more based off of, and eventually you, you could get to the point where um, he no longer has a good focus and he'll kind of write more and maybe even go a little bit set off the burger. Man, see, Chibi's just, he's really doing a good job. It's just, um, here we go. This one might, there we go. Well, in this case, every time he just wrote a little bit, um, but there are times where he'll he'll write three, four sentences for you as it, and um, it's just, part of the AI dance, you know, as you go through, you'll end up with an article that is using your tone and everything from the, the context from your seed that you kind of preferably manually wrote, but also you can use the seed button. That's what it's there for, to try and help you come up with a good seed, the beginning sort of, of, of your article. And uh, also the seeds, you don't have to think of it as something that will be a part of your article. You can just have a really good seed that you use while you're writing. And then when you're done writing, remove the seed and let you know the rest of it be like your real document that you publish. Um, but in terms of, of this topic box, I wanted to mention one more thing. I'm going to copy this, actually two more things. Um, you can think of this as if you turned to Chibi and you said, uh, write about, and in this case, the most incredible burger. So you can see I have the, right? The most incredible burger. Like you might think you're just putting keywords into this box and so therefore, you know, most incredible burger or just incredible burger would be something you would write there. But you notice that I have the in there on purpose, because if you think of it like write about the most incredible, like as if you turn to Chibi and you say, hey, write about the most incredible burger for me. You know, I'll just even put that in there. And if you turn to him and said, just write about most incredible burger for me, it, it's not really fully proper English, right? And so that does actually provide uh, something to, for the most part, <laughs> let me just, I'm trying to figure out how to say this without, uh, um, so if you just use, write, a, write about Most Incredible Burger for me, it's probably going to do fine. Chibi will do okay. Um, but it might cause him to think a little harder, might even take a little bit longer. Like, you know, when I say a little bit, I'm probably thinking 40 or 50 milliseconds, but We'll have to do a little bit more thinking and crunching of the of the data to come back with something. So, and this is more proper English, and the more proper you can be about uh, this, especially in this topic box, the better the results will be from from Chibi. So, I wanted to bring that up. Also, um, you know that Command Enter is right. Command Shift Enter will be Finish. So, um, let me take away the the period on the end of here. If I hit finish, command shift enter, I wonder what Chibi's going to do here. He might just put a period. Nope. Oh. Well, there you go. He decided to um, to put that in there. So you notice that it went straight to the end of the sentence, stopped. He didn't go off any further, didn't add anything extra. That's what the finish button will do for you. But the command enter has a little bit different, uh, has, has a extra bonus kind of feature to it. Um, if you wanted to write more about the pickled on onions, for instance, and you wanted to put you wanted to put pickled onions in your topic bar or topic box. You can highlight it and hit um, Command Enter, and it puts it right in the topic box for you. Now, of course, you probably probably should go over there and be like, "Hmm, I'm going to write about the pickled onions." 
right? And change that. Um, also keep in mind that capitalization could be important here. Everything should be lowercase unless it's like a name or a location or a book title or something like that. Words that should be capitalized, you should capitalize and that will help Chibi stay on point even better. So yeah, that's the end of this video. I just wanted to try and be quick. I guess we're going on what, probably 10 minutes ish or something. Um, and just show that how important it is for the seed and the lead and how you can kind of use these to get to the content that you want um, and work quickly through an article. Um, and then after you have all this, take advantage of these other buttons down here if you need an outline or headlines or ask questions. And you don't have to stay in one mode. You can switch over and you can start using these in your content too. Even though this article is not about sales and copywriting needs and stuff, these buttons can do some incredible things even for this type of content too. So experiment, have fun, and until next time, Take care.